Two-way marine radios are the most effective communication when at sea. Receive weather forecasts and navigational warnings. Send advice on your whereabouts and plans and talk to other boats. There are different radios for different uses. Each type of radio has designated frequencies or channels for different purposes, various range and operation protocols. It is important that you understand the system. A guide decal like this on your boat is a good idea. The most popular transceivers for general inshore and coastal use are the readily affordable 27 MHz, commonly called 27 Meg, and the VHF radios. They are used by angling and yacht clubs as well as safety organisations, including the Coast Guard and Marine Safety Councils. 27.88 MHz is used for emergency calling. 27.86 is used for weather and position and an, as an alternate emergency. 9.0 and 9.1 are used for ship to shore communication. 27.94 is for club use and ship to ship communication should be conducted on channel decimal 96. MFHF radios are used by shipping and recreational vessels for long distance offshore communications. If you're operating a VHF or MFHF marine transceiver, someone on board must hold a restricted operator certificate of proficiency in radio telephony from the Australian Communications Authority. Commence your call on the calling frequency, for example 88 on 27 meg or 16 on VHF. Go to a working channel to continue your call. Listen before you talk so you don't interfere with others. Always use either the name of your vessel or your call sign for identification. It is illegal to use your own name. Keep messages brief and clear. Return to the calling channel when you've completed your call. If your vessel is in grave or imminent danger, transmit a distress call as follows. Call Mayday, Mayday, Mayday. Then say, this is followed by the name of your vessel and your call sign spoken three times, your position in either degrees and minutes of latitude and longitude or in relation to a well-known geographical feature, the nature of your distress and the kind of assistance desired, any other information to facilitate rescue, including the number of people on board. If a distress call is not fully justified, the urgency call Pan Pan, spoken three times, should be used to indicate that an urgent message follows concerning the safety of a vessel or person. Then advise who, where and what as per the distress call. Example of distress call. Mayday, Mayday, Mayday. This is Scamp VL2345. Scamp VL2345. SCAMP VL2345 Example of distress message Mayday SCAMP VL2345 12 nautical miles due east of point danger Struck submerged object sinking rapidly Estimate time of float 15 minutes Require immediate assistance 10 meter motor cruiser Red hull, white cabin 4 persons on board EPIRB activated, about to launch life raft. Radio communications are often distorted by poor reception or interference. To ensure a clear, unambiguous message, the phonetic alphabet is used. A. Alpha B. Bravo C. Charlie D. Delta E. Echo F. Foxtrot G. Golf H. Hotel I. India J. Juliet K. Kilo L. Lima M. Mike N. November O. Oscar P. Papa Q. Quebec R. Romeo S. Sierra
T. Tango. U. Uniform. V. Victor. W. Whiskey. X. X-ray. Y. Yankee. Z. Zulu.